Okay, so we've created our masterpiece and we've used a, a create space template to copy and paste it onto. So we should be all set and ready to turn our vision into an actual book. So here I've um, logged into my create space account and you see uh, my two works here. Uh, one with 105 purchases in the month of February and the other with zero purchases and that's okay because I really didn't expect any any purchases for this for this piece anyway uh, but our goal is to create a new title so I'm gonna click add new title and let's give our project a name um, my create space um, example okay and it's a paperback and create space allows you to um, do the guided process set a process where they will just guide you step by step and it really is uh, pretty easy and so here they give you an ex your title again if you want to <coughs> provide a subtitle all we need to know I guess a name your first name there then your last name there okay um if your book is part of a series of books like, you know, like the james bond series or the born identity series something like that something that you've created um or if i wanted to take a version of my uh, my old book and edit it and re publish it as a second edition i could do that as well <clears throat> all right for us let's do our publication date as february 28th and we'll save and continue and if you notice on the left side <clears throat> there's these little check boxes these plus and minuses and right now we're in the setup area and we just completed the title information so it has a nice green check saying that we're finished there and it'll take us through all these different steps to the final step of actually distribution where we price it and we put it on different channels and we, we set ourselves up here um, let's go through a couple more <clears throat> as time is short uh, create a free ISBN um, I will choose that one you, you'll notice that for some reason you can Purchase a custom ISBN for $10 or a custom universal ISBN for only $99. Don't know why anyone would do that. Um, maybe you can let me know. I haven't a clue. But for me, I'll take the free stuff and then I'll take the assigned free ISBN choice. And there's my ISBN. And we'll continue. and here we start to work on the interior of the book and if you look at the steps i've done the title information i've chosen my isbn and now i can choose my interior so here we'll go black and white um i don't have any pictures usually on, on books i don't know how to actually do that uh, maybe we'll try cream for this one i don't know i think cream is a little bit thicker easier on the eyes from what i understand and now it's time to upload our file so we're going to upload our masterpiece from the computer so we find our work our great american novel here and open that up and save and so now it is uploading and that will take a few moments for it to load so uh, i'll pause it and be right back so now this pop-up came up and they are checking um, the file for issues that might affect how the book is printed but since we did the precaution of um, copying and pasting onto a format from CreateSpace there really shouldn't be any issues um, and this is I think where I came into some problems the first time when I um, made my publication so um, that's kind of why I suggested to you in the first video that you uh, cut and paste onto a downloaded format from create space um, so here it says uh, upload is complete uh, automated print check did, didn't find any issues so that's good so we're gonna skip the interior viewer and move on 
Okay. So now we have title information, ISBN, interior, and now it's time to work on the cover. So here I can choose matte or glossy. Um, and we can purchase a professional cover design for the low, low price of $399. Again, I like the free stuff. So we'll launch the cover creator. And the cover creator is pretty cool. It, it uh, gives you, it says one of five pages. So six choices per page. So you have about 30 choices, I believe, of different, you know, standard designs that they provide. And as far as the background pictures, you can play around with it and load your own images on there. Um, so this this could take a little bit of time, depending on you know your your vision for what your your book wants to be. So let's just I don't know. Let's pick this one for for right now. <clears throat> and uh, if you look here, it gives you a theme. This is the peaceful prairie. Uh, let's see what romance says. Let's see if that'll change. Okay, gives you a little different picture. Okay, <clears throat> and a different font. So um, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different things to go through. So title, my my create space, good. Subtitle, we'll leave that as leave it as that, good. Authors, okay. There's your author. You can change it if you'd like. New name, you know, whatever. And you can make different adjustments. And here, uh, you could use one of our images. It says I haven't tried that. Oh, wow, here, that's cool. All right, let's, let's change the image on this. Let's see how this looks. All right, uh, let's let's see what we get here. Can I just click that? Let's just click a bird. See what happens. All right, let's use this image. See what happens. <clears throat> and I don't know how this is gonna look up. Oh, okay, there's our bird. Um, and then you can adjust it. Oh, adjust the alignment. I guess I'm I'm doing more than I wanted to. Let me skip through. So you can change the um, the image of of whatever picture you want to put on there um, uh, for author author's photo you can upload a photo of yourself if you don't want your picture on the book you can uncheck that um, you could edit the back cover text here let's see yeah. alright so change words and book cover something like that apply and this um, can get a little tricky because they change the fonts right I didn't write very much so the, the font is very big so I, I don't have time right now to show you how to fumble through that but I think you get the idea all right um, uh, publish your logo if you have one if you don't uncheck it and it will get rid of this little box here And then frame color. Let's see what this is. Frame color. Let's see what happens when we change this. I think that's just the outside of it. I'm not sure. Frame color. Restore original color. That might have to do with, with the design I chose. It might not show anything up. Okay. And then we can change the font color, and that should be easy enough. Let's see how that works. Okay, and we can change the font color. So you can see there's a lot of options you have as far as um, creating your cover. And so you can fool around with that, that, you know, depending on your patience and creativity, that could take a while. And, wow, this is almost 10 minutes long. I apologize for that. So... I'm submitting my cover with my upside down bird and um, and my published work and uh, this will take a few minutes hold on a second and it comes to here it says complete cover 
and I click complete cover and you see the uh, the, the green check mark alright so we're 10 minutes long I apologize for that and uh, we'll have the next video start where we left off alright thanks